Hello everyone and welcome to Thailand Unplugged. Let's have a quick look at some of the latest news we've got coming up today. Thailand's police force arrests 16 Chinese nationals crossing over illegally from Myanmar into Thailand. Thai cabinet look at endorsing same-sex marriage bills. China's broken promise and Hong Kong's residents may become welcome in Australia. Outgoing Army Chief says there's no plans for US bases on Thai soil. And two short stories from the one and only Johnny Siam. A durian-obsessed wild elephant goes on a little bit of a rampage. And a look at the monkey coconut picking business. Hello, I'm Stephen Clark, bringing you the latest news from Southeast Asia and the wonderful land of smiles, Thailand. Those and many other stories coming up. Police in the northern province of Tak have detained 16 Chinese nationals that snuck illegally into Thailand from Myanmar. The Chinese nationals say they've lost their jobs as casino workers as a result of the Chinese coronavirus crisis. The Chinese nationals were found floating in the Moi River. Some were so tired they almost drowned, so officials helped them onto dry land. The 16 Thai nationals were then arrested on the spot. It's understood that some of them were so exhausted they were on the verge of drowning. Ten members of the group have no passports, while the other six have passports that bear no entry stamp or visa for Thailand. They now face prosecution for illegally entering into Thailand, as well as a violation of the Communicable Diseases Act for posing health risks to the country during the Chinese coronavirus pandemic. Currently, all international arrivals into Thailand, both Thai and foreign, must agree to a mandatory 40-day quarantine period to ensure the virus remains suppressed in the kingdom. The Chinese nationals that snuck into Thailand illegally, posing a high risk of spreading Chinese coronavirus to the people residing in Thailand. Those who choose to enter Thailand illegally is a high risk act towards all living in Thailand. And we all hope that the Thai officials make an example of these Chinese nationals to deter any more unwanted Chinese visitors into the land of smiles. Haven't you ever met a man that can make you happy? Sure. Lots of times. Thailand's marriage rights for same-sex couples will be expanded under legal amendments. Thai cannot approve the civil partnership bill, but this will still fall short of full parity with those enjoyed by heterosexual couples. Highlights of the new bill are consenting same-sex couples who want to register their partnership must be at least 17 years older at least one must be a Thai national. In case the same-sex couple are minors, they must have the consent of their parents, guardians or the court. After the registration of the partnership, the minor will be regarded as adults. Either member of the same-sex partnership can act on behalf of the other, as with heterosexual married couples. A same-sex couple can adopt a child. In case one of the partners dies, the survivor has the same rights and duties as a surviving heterosexual spouse. The government's deputy spokesman, Ratchida, said the civil partnership bill and the amendments to the civil and commercial code would ensure fairness for people of all genders and orientations. Marriage registration will be made available for same-sex couples who are at least 17 years old. At least one of any couple must be a Thai citizen. Ratchet has said the civil partnership bill was a milestone for Thai society in prompting equality among people of all genders. Gay marriages in Thailand has its pluses and minuses for foreigners in love. The news that to permit full civil marriage partnerships between two members of the same sex is a huge step forward for gay civil rights in the kingdom. The new laws appear to give same-sex partners all the rights of heterosexually joined couples in matters such as property rights, adoption and inheritance. And progress on gay rights in the country has been swift 
As recently as 2002, the Ministry of Health was still classifying homosexuality as mental illness. Not until 2005 did the armed services lift a ban on gays serving in the military, though some individuals still turned up at the recruitment stations wearing a dress and pouting their lips. They aren't necessarily homosexuals or even horny, but are encouraging stereotypes just to avoid the draft. Thai Red Cross apparently still bans practicing gays from donating blood. The proposal for gay marriage are clearly meant to make life less discriminatory for some Thais and some foreigners. Doubtless for many it will work out satisfactory. The rest should recall the warning of American actress Mae West when she announced marriage is a great institution but I'm not ready for an institution yet. What kind of husband did you think I should get? Mm, I should take a single man, leave the husbands alone. Broken promises and Hong Kong's residents may be in Australia. Broken promises over the law poured in from critics and Western governments over fears the law will usher in a new era of mainland style political repression. Under a deal ahead of the 1997 handover from Britain, authoritarian China guaranteed Hong Kong civil liberties as well as judicial legislative autonomy until 2047 in a formula known as the One Country, Two Systems. Chinese Communist Party promised 50 years of freedom to Hong Kong people and gave them only 23 years. US Secretary of State said, as he promised, unspecified countermeasures. But Beijing said foreign countries should keep quiet about the law, while Hong Kong leader Kerry Lum hailed the legislation as the most important development since the city's return to Beijing rule. Hong Kong residents could be offered a safe haven in Australia amid security law crackdown, Australian Prime Minister Scott Morrison has said. When we have made a final decision on these arrangements, I'll make an announcement. But if you ask, are we prepared to step up and provide support? The answer is yes, he said. The Morrison government has stressed that Hong Kong residents fearing political prosecution can already apply for a protection under Australian existing humanitarian program. On Wednesday, hundreds of people were arrested after demonstrators took to the streets to protest the new laws which were introduced by the Chinese Communist Party to suppress dissenters. British Prime Minister Boris Johnson said he would offer eligible people in Hong Kong a path to citizenship, allowing them to settle in the United Kingdom. Hong Kong police used pepper spray on demonstrators protesting against new national security laws from the Chinese Communist Party. For full details of the controversial national security law thrust upon Hong Kong by the Beijing Chinese Communist Party have been released and it goes much, much further than had previously been predicted. The UK handed over control of Hong Kong to Chinese Communist Party in 1997 and the latest round of protests surrounding the anniversary of that event. Before the handover took place, citizens of Hong Kong were able to apply for British national overseas passports. Hong Kong is home to hundreds of thousands of BNO passport holders, with millions of other residents believed to be eligible. Mr Johnson said on Wednesday that the UK would ensure a path to citizenship was open for those passport holders. The Chinese Communist Party's response to Australia's concerns over the laws? Chinese Communist Party has accused Australia of meddling in its affairs by issuing a joint statement with 26 other countries over human rights crackdowns in Hong Kong. In a statement, Foreign Minister Maurice Payne said the eyes of the world will remain on Hong Kong. Australia is troubled by the laws, implications for Hong Kong's judicial independence and on the rights of freedom enjoyed by the people of Hong Kong, both of which underpin the city's success, she said. Outgoing Army Chief says no plans for US bases on Thai soil. Outgoing Army Chief Paparet Kongsapong is denying that the US is seeking 
to establish a military base on Thai soil. At a press briefing, Apparat said that Thai and US troops have only carried out joint military drills, codenamed Codbra Gold, and nothing more. The drills are multinational exercises held annually in Thailand. Apparat insisted the US did not ask to use Thailand as a stage for a base, but admitted that US troops left behind some of their military equipment deployed during the drills, but says reports shouldn't read too much into this. Apparat also defended a second day visit by the US Army Chief of Staff, James McConville, and his delegates after an activist criticized the government for not sending the visitors into the mandatory quarantine that was imposed for all visitors to Thailand. He also says the delegation will be tested for the Chinese coronavirus before and upon arrival to Thailand. Tests will be performed by doctors from the Public Health Ministry and the Thai Airways International staff. These procedures will become a model for future visits by foreign delegations. The US delegation are the first group of foreigners to officially visit Thailand since the country began lifting Chinese coronavirus restrictions. Don't stir up issues that might create conflict in the region, Apparat said. Kareng Kachan National Park, near Hua Hin, a wild bull elephant with a taste for durian broke into a shop and ate thousands of baht worth of durian. The shop owner repaired the door, repainted it and cleaned up the mess. Later the same day, the elephant returned with a taste for the pungent fruit and again broke through the repainted and freshly repaired door to fulfill its need for the fruit. Local wildlife ranger said it was not uncommon for elephants to go on a food raid and to help, the ranger has placed camel traps. Now, myself, I don't know if a camera trap is going to help, but unless you sell elephant selfies, but who knows? Johnny here. Four hundred million US dollars. It's a lot of money. That's what the coconut trade earns Thailand each year. The coconut trade has come under scrutiny from animal liberation groups. Retailers in the US, UK and Netherlands have pulled the coconut products from the shelves. The allegation of animal mistreatment, the century-old practice of monkeys picking coconuts being shunned. The farmers share a close bond with their monkeys and are proud of them. As their coconut milk disappears from supermarkets and so does its export dollars. The activists are calling for freeing of the monkeys and with unemployed monkeys now out of a job, it goes to the human pickers and the costs will be passed on. Let's face it, the workers don't work for peanuts and now the out of work monkeys have to fend for themselves. So watch out for stolen coconuts as the monkey union has set up in opposition. Johnny out.